It's Toy Time presents Caterpillar Construction Iron Diesel Train for under 30 bucks by Toy State. All right, here it is. This is the Cat Motorized Iron Diesel Train. This is the unboxing and playing of the set. Just gonna check out the box here real quick. Gotta get it open first. To get to our set, yes. Need some scissors. There we go. All right. A couple snips, snip, snip. All day. Oh yeah. Here it is. Got our caterpillar diesel engine up there. It's not really diesel, it's battery powered, but you know, we gotta make believe, right? That's where the batteries go underneath there. We'll open it up. I think it's four double A's. Here's our flat bed with uh, two trucks on it. We got a little dump truck, and then we also have the, cool. it's not a backhoe, it's uh, just a digger, I guess you could call it. Digging truck. I love the detail on these flat beds. I even have like a, a fake chain there, you know, to hold down the trucks, right? I don't think the chain moves, but you can pull off the trucks, which is awesome, right? It's like two toys in one. You got a train, and you got trucks on the train that you can pull off. And it's got wheels that move, and that digger in the front there that moves too. It's pretty cool. Now this is cool. I've never seen one of these types of trains in real life, but. I mean, it's a container flatbed with a crane oh. on it. That's pretty sweet. Cool. Oh. That's pretty cool. It's magnetic. Oh my goodness. All right, let's get our our um, call this like a dumper. Because um, one of the pieces you can pop out and then it dumps stuff all over the place. Whatever you had in there. You know, sand or gravel. Or, don't put sand or gravel in there. It'll make it really messy. Get a couple flat tracks. You get two of those. You get six curved tracks with this set. Three, three curved tracks makes the turn. So you get three on both sides, then two straight tracks, and you got yourself like a little oval. Really, are we gonna do this now? Let's just jump ahead. Let's just jump ahead, shall we? Oh yeah, I gotta plug it together, show you how to plug these together. We're gonna dismantle this later because uh, we don't have four straight tracks, we only have two. But uh, just for, you know, presentation's sake. Rolls right on there, see that? Pretty sweet. Oh, show you how to put it put together a couple curved tracks. It takes a little effort, you see yeah. But you click. It's much easier to do it on the ground. Set your tracks on the ground. Oh yeah, it just builds itself somehow. Yes, you'll have to actually go down there and put it together. It won't magically just build itself like that. But here's a train. Only two AA batteries. How about that for efficiency? I thought it was four, it's only two. That's great. Whoa. Whoa. Press the little red button up there. That's on and off. Off. On. Awesome. Make sure to put that panel back on there. I think we'll get to that. There we go. Yep, screw that on. Yeah, I'm going to put that at times a thousand speed. No need to watch me sit there screen that in for like five minutes. Looks like on this, just the back wheels are motorized. It should be enough power to move our train of four. Three if you don't include the diesel engine. Powered by batteries. Oh yeah, look at that thing go. Oh yeah. 
I always like to just start with just the engine to make sure all the track is in in working order because it's good might as well just run the train with just run the run the set with just the engine first to make sure it gets all the way around the track with falling off because there's no need to put everything on at the same time and just have it all just fall all over the place what I was doing there I was looking for the heaviest one because I don't go by how the box has these in order I want to go by weight I always want to put the heaviest trains first because this track as you can see it has a pretty tight these are some pretty tight curves it's not a long it's not a long sweeping turn like if you had sometimes you can have train sets that have track that you can actually that are flexible these are not flexible so we have to work with what we have here come on it's a $30 set if you're paying more than $30 you're paying too much for this set this set should run you anywhere between 15 and $30 I got it for 17 prime shipping but I bought it like a month ago right now I think it's about 30 bucks Look at that train go. Whoa. It's running like a champ. See? What more can you expect for $30? I mean, this is cool. Oh, yeah. All right, let's grab another one. The, the dumpster truck. Train carrier car. The dump car. I call it the dump car. You might call it something else. It's not a hopper. Hoppers, you put sand in the top and, and the sand could go down through the hopper. This has the side that pops out. So I think it's, it's, it should in theory be called the dump car. So we got a uh, container car with a crane. And we got the flatbed car with the trucks on it. That's pretty awesome. And then a dump car. And also, of course, your diesel engine. Looks like a diesel engine really powered by batteries, but, you know, it has the feel of the detail. Oh yeah, look at that thing go. It's running like a champ, like a boss. That's cool. All right, give you a little 360 view. I've had friends tell me on my other 360 view viewing videos, product views, what you want to call it, they're absolutely incredibly boring. So I've sped it up for you. And if you, you still get all the angles. So if you want to look at a particular angle, you can slow it down. Okay, I, I, I still threw in some slow ones because these are just cool. These trains have action moves. They, they can change. As you can see, they, you can move them around. They have different positions. You can take these trucks off as you saw earlier. That's pretty cool. Look at that. It's a lot of value, even for $30. I mean, you can find it for cheaper, but even at 30, it's not bad. All right. Look at that. That's cool, the wool. Dumper there, could just, you could put stuff in there and just open it up and just all falls out. It's pretty cool. All right, thanks for watching. This has been a toy time presentation we hope you come back to watch more toy time videos sometime soon if you like this video please click that subscribe button down below we really appreciate you following us on future endeavors let us know what you like or what you don't like and we'll try and improve on those things thanks again and hope to see you soon My Deal Stash.